Hello there and welcome back to another episode of our Lumina Neo Academy. The show where we help you to get the most out of this photo editing application. Now, if you've never been here before, my name is Jacob Bors and I'm a creator and founder here at Clever Photographer. Now, before we're going to start, I have a few things I want to cover. First of all, at the end of the video, I'm going to give you access to our popular Luminar Neo shortcut cheat sheet. So you make sure that you stay until the end. Also, if you don't own Luminar Neo or the HDR Merge plugin, get our discount code to get the best possible price and you can find it in the description of this video. Finally, I would like to ask you to please like, comment and share on this video. And also don't forget to subscribe to our channel so we can keep creating content like this. Today, I will show you three ways to create the selective color effect in Luminar Neo. Selective color is a photo editing process that highlights one color or colored object in otherwise black and white image. This makes the selected color pop. You may want to use this process for artistic reasons or when your image includes too many competing colors. Now it's pretty simple to achieve this effect in Luminar Neo. However, depending on the situation and your subject, it will benefit you to have multiple options to get the best possible result. Now, as always, if you want to follow me along and do the edit on your own computer, make sure that you jump into the description of this video, follow the link there, head to our Dropbox account and download the files there. You will get a three images, so upload them into Luminar Neo and we can start. Now, before we're going to continue, just a quick reminder that this tutorial is powered by our Luminar Neo Power Bundle. For a little fee, you will get over 980 new elements to power up your Luminar Neo tools. You will get extra high definition skies, overlays, textures, backgrounds, sky objects, LUTs and presets to transform your images with just a few clicks. If you want to get the best possible price, just follow the link in the description. And if you want to learn more about this bundle, visit our website cleverphotographer.com. As you can see, we are already in Luminar Neo and we are starting in catalog module. For the first technique, we're going to select the image with the red car and then move it into edit module by clicking on edit on the top of your screen or using E on your keyboard. The idea with this image is very simple. We're going to turn everything to black and white and just keep the red color on. So for this, we're going to use the very simple technique, the easiest one using the HSL panel. So let's go into our main toolbar, then the essential section. And what we're looking for is the color tool. Click on it to open it. And here at the bottom, you see the HSL. Again, click on it and that will reveal the HSL panel. Let's make it a little bit more visible. And now we can click on a gray drop down box where you will see the choices of hue, saturation and luminance. What we're looking for is the saturation. So now here you can adjust the saturation for the main colors of the image. Red, orange, yellow, green, cyan, blue, purple and magenta. And in the saturation option, you can adjust the saturation of these colors. So when I start with the red and bring it all the way down, it will almost remove the red color. When I go the other way around, I will make it super saturated. So now to create the selective color effect, we will remove the saturation on all the colors other than red. So we're going to start from the bottom, start with the magenta and bring it all the way down to minus 100. Then we go into the purple and we do the same. And same with the blue, cyan, green, yellow, and we can continue with the orange. However, when I bring the orange down, you will see that we will lose a little bit of the red color on the car. And the reason is that sometimes the red color also include a little bit of orange in it. So we can bring it up because there is no orange anywhere else on the image and just leave it the way it is. So now we have only the red color and everything else is black and white. So exactly the look we were looking for. Once you're done with this, you can actually just close the HSL panel, close the color tool, and you can either export the image or continue with the edit. 
Sometimes it's quite nice when you add a little bit of texture and contrast to the black and white part of the image. And here in Luminar Neo, you can do it, for example, by going into the Structure AI and just increasing the amount a little bit. Additionally, you can also use tool that is called Dramatic Tool. For this, we need to go into our Creative section, open the Dramatic Tool and just increase the amount here. Finally, when we are finished, we can check the before and after at the bottom of our screen. And now we can see where we started and where we end. So this was the technique number one, the use of the HSL panel. Let's jump to the technique number two. We're going to go back to the catalog module. And this time we're going to select the lady in a red dress. After this, we're going to bring it back to the edit module. And this time, again, looking at the image, we want the dress to remain red and everything else to be black and white. So to achieve this, we're going to use the technique number two. And for this, we're going to need the help of the black and white tool. So let's go back into our main toolbar. We are still in the essentials tool and we're going to go into the black and white tool. Click on it and it will open. Let's make it a little bit more visible. And first, what I want you to do is to click on convert to black and white. So everything become black and white. After this, there are two choices here, luminance and saturation. For our effect, we are looking for the saturation. After this, you can see that there are different choices here. Red, yellow, green, cyan, blue and magenta. So what I want you to do is to take the red slider and just increase it. And as you start to bring it up, you will see how we start to get the red color back together with the skin tones. So it's looking quite nice. Let's go somewhere around 60 to get the natural result. And we are almost done. It's looking great, right? Everything is black and white and the dress and skin tones are nicely standing out. However, looking at the image, you can see that we get some leftover colors also on the image. You can see that it's not just the dress and the skin, but there's some other red on the picture. And this is something that can happen to you with any of the techniques we're using today. Well, there is a really simple fix for this. Let's just close the black and white tool and open the color tool that is just above it. Here, go into the saturation slider and bring it all the way down. So now we remove all the saturation from the entire image. But of course, we don't want to do that. We just want to apply this and remove the saturation from the specific area of the image, the parts where we know that we don't want any color. So they were mostly here. Well, as you probably know, for this, we're going to use masking. So let's go back to our color tool, switch it into masking mood, then select the brush and in a brush, make sure that we are on a paint. The size, let's just leave it somewhere around 96. Softness, we can leave on 100 and strength also on 100. I know that the area with the colors was here, so let's just click once. And as you can see, everything disappear and the black and white unsaturated area will only appear where I'm going to brush. So I'm going to brush over these areas here just to remove the colors from there. And I can also brush over the tree here just to make sure that everything is good. Really simple. And as you can see, it only took us a few seconds and we are done. Now we are finished with the second technique and this second example. So let's have a look at the before and after. And you can really clearly see how this selective color effect can take attention and bring it directly on your main subject. Again, before and after. Now let's finish the tutorial with the technique number three. So again, we're going to go into the catalog module and this time select the yellow car. After this, we're going to again bring it into edit module and now we can continue. Now looking at the image, the idea is very simple. We want our main subject, which is the yellow car, to keep its colors and everything else to be black and white. Well, for this, for the third technique, we're going to use the black and white tool again, however, in a little bit different way. So let's go into the essential tools, then again, black and white, and let's start by converting the whole image into black and white. But that's not what we want. We just want everything else other than the car to be black and white. Well, for this, we're going to use masking. So let's go into the masking tab and let's click on Mask AI. The program will scan the image and it will give us the different options of what it can see. As you can guess, we have the transport here because we're looking for the car. So we're going to click on that 
and it will do for us a rough selection of the car. I think it did a really good job looking at it. We maybe need to do a few fixes with the brush, but to start with, it's looking really good. So let's go back. And now, as you can see, it's actually the opposite of what we wanted. Everything is saturated and colorful other than the car. Well, for this, the fix is really simple. Let's go back to our masking tool, click on mask actions, and simply click on invert. So what this does, it actually inverts the mask. So now we have the car with all the colors and everything else is black and white. Now I mentioned there are a few bits we need to fix, like on the car here and around. And for this, let's just make sure that we can see the mask. So we're gonna click on show. And then we're gonna go into the brush tool. In a brush tool, depending on what we're gonna do, we're gonna switch between the paint and erase. So for now we leave it on a paint. After that, adjusting the size, we're gonna move around the car and see what we need. With the softness, let's bring it into 15 and definitely leave the strength on 100. After this, let's zoom in. We can do that with the Ctrl or Command Plus on your keyboard. And while we have the brush selected, we can use the space bar to move around the image. Now looking here, we need to adjust this and we need to choose between paint and erase. So when we're using the black and white effect, when we paint, we're actually adding it into the image. So we're adding black and white here. So we want to erase this, remove this. Now you can go back into the tool and click on erase and simply erase that. Or you can just keep using X on your keyboard to switch between the paint and erase. Another thing I want to show you is how you can paint a straight line. So let's just make our brush a little smaller. We're going to click once here. And then I want you to hold the shift on your keyboard and click again and it makes a straight line between the two brush stroke. Again, we can use it here. One click, shift, another click, and it creates a straight line. Now again, we need to adjust this here a little bit. We need a little bit of black and white here. So let's just click on X. One click, shift, another click. This we can just brush over, and there you have it. Now I'm not gonna do all of this for you. You can do it on your own computer. However, it gives you the idea. Again, you just use the X to switch between the two different options, erase and paint, and you take your time and have a lots of fun with this image. Don't forget to keep using the shift and just move around and see and get the result you are looking for. Once you finish, you can go back, you can go into the mask actions and click on show again, zoom out, and there is your result. Just like with the previous images, let's have a look at the before and after, and I think it's looking really good. So those are the three methods of how you can create the popular and trendy selective color effect on your own images. And there you have it. If you want a copy of our popular Luminar Neo shortcut cheat sheet, there is nothing easier than heading to our website cleverphotographer.com slash luminargift. While you're there, you can also check out one of our popular Luminar Neo products, or you can stay here and watch more videos about Luminar Neo. For today, I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, please make sure that you like, comment, and share on this video. And also, don't forget to subscribe to our channel so we can keep creating content like this. For today, thank you very much for watching. My name is Jacob Bors, and I can't wait to see you in the next video. Yeah.